everyone, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my November favorites for 2014. Um, and um, I don't have too many this month. Um, I actually didn't buy um, too much in the month of November. Uh, only during this recently. Um, and to be honest, just really um, only bought some stuff during Black Friday online for crappy stuff. Um, so I'll be getting those here the next week. Um, there'll probably be some of those items in my December favorites. So um, stay tuned for that at the end of December. But um, I want to start off with the ones that I do have for this month. Um, the first thing that I have are these uh, Thermoweb Zots Bling Adhesive. And um, I found these out by, if you watch any of Nicole McGuarrick's videos, um, they are awesome. If you haven't, you know, go check her channel out. Um, I, if I remember, I will link it below. She is an, art, uh, an awesome card maker, um, scrapbooker. Um, she just, she's just a great, great crafter all around. So, but she's tar she, anytime that she applies sequins or any tiny uh, embellishments. She uses these, the Zotz Bling Adhesive. Um, they are kind of hard to find. I mean, um, so you kind of have to search the web um, to find them. But I did find mine off of Amazon, I believe. Either Amazon or eBay, I can't remember. I believe they, eBay actually uh, I bought mine off of. But um, they're perfect uh, for sequins. And um, I'm getting, for the way I craft, I'm just a, um, a I call myself a clumsy crafter <laughs> um, simply because um, I'm not great with the little tiny um, elements like little sequins or stuff like that. I get so fumbly with my fingers and I don't know why but um, so that's why I haven't been using my sequins a whole whole lot because it seemed like a more of a chore to apply them than um, with the glue and to place them then you know than necessary. So whenever she was talking about these, um, absolutely fell in love. Um, if you can kind of see a couple of them right there where they're super, super tiny and they're perfect for sequins. There's a couple different sizes um, in here and um, they are. They're perfect for sequins. They're perfect for a tiny embellishment. So I have basically switched to this adhesive anytime that I apply my sequins. So I'm so glad that she's talked about these because it's it's changed my world as far as applying my sequins to my to my cards and stuff. So that has been a definite favorite for me for this month. Um, next is um, this vellum adhesive. This is by Scrapbook Adhesives. This is a uh, vellum adhesive, and because I've been using vellum um, quite a bit uh, this month. Um, because um, I guess vellum is kind of making a comeback lately in the card making world. Um, and it may be because of Nicole McGorick, who knows. But I know she's been using a lot of vellum um, and it's just inspired me too as well. But um, I ran out of this um, a couple months back. And um, I never picked any back up because I just kind of stopped using vellum. So, um, but I found it again. It was kind of hard for me to find. Um, I think I found it on uh, scrapbookpal.com. This is where I picked it up um, because it's you can't find it at Simon Says Stamp. You can't find it at the, you know, I don't believe Ellen Hudson doesn't have it either. It was kind of hard to locate. So I did find it on scrapbookpal.com and that's where I picked mine up. And um, it's a great, great vellum adhesive. Um, if a if I wish I had a card in front of me to show you, but um, if my opinion matters at all, please take my word that it is one of those great vellum adhesives. Whenever you apply the vellum, you really you can't hardly tell at all that there's adhesive under your vellum. So it's one that I really do recommend um, for those that are searching for a good vellum adhesive. Um, another tool, mine are my, my, mainly tools this month instead of stamps or anything like that. Another tool is this um, Xyron. It's not a new thing, but it's um, something that I kind of picked back up and um, rediscovered, basically. And um, it's great for those little beady pieces, like um, elements that you're going to put on your cards, like letter stickers, or, um, or even if you wanted to apply extra adhesive to your stickers that you didn't already have, or that, you know, had to come off or whatever. 
um, but it's great for basically little pieces and it's a time saving tool too um, for like die cuts and stuff like that. So um, I've basically rediscovered this and I've been really enjoying it um, this month as well. So um, if you don't have one, I recommend one as uh, to you to use. Um, next, I have um, this die set from MFT. This is the Stitched Square Stacks. Um, and I've been trying to change it up a little bit as far as my um, card size that I make. Um, and I've been making a, a few, or getting into making square cards a little bit more. And um, so I picked this die set up because I didn't really have anything as far as uh, dies go in the square shape. So um, I picked this up with an MFT order that I placed, I believe... It was beginning of the month or beginning of the end of last month. I can't remember. but um, So I picked this up and I've used this die set um, a few times this month. And I really do like it. And it just goes with my obsession of die frames basically. <laughs> but um, so this has been really helpful. And it's really um, a great one to have in my collection. Um, because um, since I am so much into the dies as far as frame dies and stuff. So... Um, so a really great one. Um, another favorite is my score buddy. <laughs> um, I've been making, obviously this is the time of year to make a lot of uh, holiday cards and I have been doing such that and of course this is one of the tools that I use every time I make a card I use this every single time to score my cards and everything so this has been a time saver for me um, when making those cards so if you don't have one of these I do know that Martha Stewart also makes you know a mini scoreboard so if you can't find this one she does have one available as well um, so for those that are new to car making or whatever, it's, a, it's, it's an essential tool, I believe. So um, I can't make a card without it. Um, I, got, I do have a stamp set. This is the one from, oh gosh, Fresh Squeeze Stamps. I, it just left me. Okay, Fresh Squeeze Stamps. Unfortunately, they're out of business now. But it is this Inside Scoop Holiday Sentiments. And um, I always like having sentiments on the inside of my cards, of course. Um, and so I really do love these ones from, I believe, Simon Says Stamp has a couple, but I found these first. And I only get to use this, of course, during the holidays. But I love these sentiments in here. And it's just, you know, it doesn't, it's one of those things that you just pick a sentiment and stamp it down and your card is complete. So, um, if you're able to find this anywhere, maybe on eBay or uh, maybe like a crafty purge um, page on Facebook or whatever, if you don't have this, um, I recommend picking it up. So, and if you do have it, you probably understand why I like it so much. And um, the final thing that I have for this month, well, it's pretty much every month that I love. It is my favorite white cardstock. This is how I store it in this uh, plastic sleeve here. This is basically a ticket um, holder uh, for like, um, oh, I can't, like, if you take your car or something to get it. Uh, serviced they put they have these big thick folders like this and they stick your keys and stuff in it um, but I got mine off of uh, eBay for a pack of 12 I believe and um, this idea obviously came from Jennifer McGuire this is how she stores hard card stock and it's been a, one of those great things for me so um, I also picked that idea up but this is the Paper Tray Ink um, Stamper Select White Card Stock. It is my favorite white card stock. It is, you know, really good and thick. Um, it's really smooth. And um, it's, you know, great for Copic coloring, I feel. And um, I don't know, I just, I really do like it. It's the one that I've been, uh, that I've stuck with for a while. And I do like it because whenever you buy this, you get 40 sheets. And I believe it's six dollars three or six dollars i can't remember it's been a while since i bought any but um it's a great value and that's why also another reason why i like this white cardstock so 
those are my favorites for this month. I don't have too many, like I said, but um, I will be picking, I did pick up a few things in um, the last few days that I'll be getting soon. So any, if any of those qualify for my favorites, I will share them at the end of December. So I hope you all have um, a great rest of your weekend, and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching.